Hi everybody, I think I'm back. I think, I think, I might have wait, like not actually paid attention to my lovely Rishimur Shemek. Shout out to you, you're wonderful and a lot of fun. And just waited till I saw the stream live on the thing. It's time for Tower of Duraga. Some of you are saying, isn't Duraga like this really brutal video game with like no context or anything? Yes, it is, but now there's context because the PCE version is a freaking wonderful game. The PCE version adds um, plot in the game. It adds um, cool things that I don't want to spoil for you, I guess, because um, if you don't know what this game is, it's, it's a maze-wandering game in the arcades that's really kind of mean and doesn't like me or you or anyone else. Um, this has got plot. We are Gilgamesh, this fellow in yellow. Um, there is the goddess. Uh, our friend Princess Key has gone up the Tower of Draga to try to defeat Draga, and it didn't quite work out. And lost the blue crystal rod. Um, and now Ishtar's like, hey, yo, like, do the thing, let's go, let's fight, let's go up this tower, let's, like, win and stuff. Anyway, let's not delay, let's get you some Tower of Draga. And, um, you know, I think Tower of Draga is a pretty cool video game, I'm gonna show it to you. Let's make sure that works. Good. Okay, great, that'll be important later. Um, <laughs> so let's go. There are now difficulty levels in this game. There's easy, normal, hard pro game. Pro game has a timer and everything. Uh, easy is the best way to play, in my opinion, because it is the most fun way of playing Tower of Draga. Just as a quick overview, there are 60 floors. The, um, the category we're running isn't just any percent. It's all main treasures. So almost every floor has at least one treasure chest on it, usually behind some sort of a puzzle. Uh, some floors have two treasure chests. We might pick up some of the optional ones, but we're going to at least pick up every single first treasure in this game. There are 60 puzzles to solve, and we are going to solve all of them today in about 25 minutes. So, sit tight, relax. This game is going to... Well, let's, I'll just let you see what's up, because this one moves kind of fast. Uh, ready? Three, two, one, go. Anyway, we're entering the tower. A demon is hiding in the tower. First, destroy slime. So, first puzzle. This is Gilgamesh. This is the speed Gilgamesh moves. This is a tower. This is a, a puzzle room. This is how quickly we pull the sword out. We stab that slime. We have defeated that slime. We need to kill one slime. Our objective today right now is kill one slime on this floor. This is the slowest floor in the game. I promise you, it will go quicker. But what this is basically is we complete the objective. A treasure chest spawns on the floor. We go pick up the treasure chest and leave. So there's our treasure chest, and this is actually not wonderful luck. Yeah, the strolling of Duraga is um, definitely how this goes at first. But you know, we're just gonna chill. This already looks better than museum version. Uh, you mean the arcade? Because yes, it is way better. I don't actually know how to get up there. So let's fail to solve a, you know, a maze for a minute. We don't have any time limit, so... Well, I mean, I guess I've got the speed run. Usually I'm out of this floor in 30 seconds. I got a real bad first floor, though. Anyway, stay tuned. We got a copper pick. Look at this stat points in my Tower of Draga. Excuse me? Anyway, now we have to do the same thing, but we have to kill a black slime. We're gonna move slightly faster. So, if you ask me, Draga always needed skill points. There is RNG. Not only in the floor layouts, but in where things actually spawn on the floor. So we do not have the chime. What we do have is the pickaxe, which lets us go through walls. We have two uses of the pickaxe right now. That will go up. 
Our pickaxe stat will increase. I just need to find the treasure chest. Here we go. Please pick it up, Gilgamesh. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, my clue I've written for myself in my splits here is a Sisyphusian task, which means use the pickaxe on the wall. Uh, you cannot destroy the wall, so using the pickaxe on the wall is going to get you nowhere, much like, you know, our good pal Sisyphus and pushing a boulder. So, we got it. We're going to move slightly quicker and put more points in the speed. Now we have to reflect a wizard spell. This is also RNG. We need to be facing a wizard. There we go. Look at that. What a good wizard. Let's find our key. And get out. So we get the map book. We won't be using that. Pass through the magic circle. Is uh, There is a shiny circle on the ground. Ow! Or we die. It's cool. We probably want to pass through it. It's this gray one there. Come on. Thank you. Combat in this game is really clunky and weird, by the way. Onwards. Alright, this one I've got everybody stretch. You just gotta swing the sword around, flail your arm a bit, and the item will spawn. So let's get our key and get out of here. This floor, break a wall. Break any wall, and you will find your chest. So now we've got to fight the blue knight. So I'm going to put a few more points into attacking. And a few off there. So we need to kill the blue knight. He'll just kill us if we're not good at video games. So there, he's dead. And uh, we'll move on with our lives. We got our gold chime. So I'm going to take these out of power again and put them back into speed. And we have to touch both these shiny things on the floor for this floor. And that will spawn our key. So now I've got the gold chime. So now you'll start to hear the treasure spawn on each floor. This time, there are things in this room that are going to be flying around. Oh, never mind. They just spawned on them. So there is a, a whisk in this level that will fly around the room. And it, you need to lure it onto a piece of the floor. Oh, wait. No, our keys are invisible now. No, our keys are not invisible yet. Where's our key? There we go. And once you do that, it'll spawn the chest. This version does give you a hint for each floor. Uh, this one I've got... Lick the walls, because when you touch the wall, it will spawn something. Oh, two treasures in this round. What's up? I'm going to pick them both up because you don't know which one's to require for me. So this one, it's a shout out to my pal Mad Mega again. There is a ghost on the floor and we need to bust it. So we need to use that match to make the ghost visible. Once we've used the match and made the ghost visible, we just peace out. Now we've got the float boots. Now there is a wizard. We need to hurt the wizard. We need to hurt this wizard bad. I'm not going to put the float boot on. We're going to put the jet boots on because they're so much faster. The wizard has hurt us! Where's he at? Alright, I need to just get the wizard to spawn somewhere that I can murder him. Come on. No! I don't know if this is considered a dungeon crawler. There he goes. He's gone. We have hurt the wizard every time we see him. So now our keys are invisible. And now we need to... Wait, so there's an item called the key book. Now the keys are visible. And now... To explain what's happening here... Are we flying? No, we're not. There's shiny things on the floor. And, uh... We need to wait for it to light up below us and already be there. There it is. The chiming is usually like, hey, you reveal the treasure. There's a short chime also that means uh, you're facing towards the key. So this we just take a break. Oh, that was bad luck. That was incredibly bad luck. Anyway, let's take a break again. There we go. If you just wait, your treasure will come. This one I've lovingly named On the Green, which means we have to walk over the green the green things. So that spawns the thing. Ah, bats. Alright, this there's a bunch of um black 
things on the ground, and we just need to walk over them in a certain order. One, two, oh, that was it! Yo! And now there's this level, we need to attack the fire. Wow! Ah. We did get a spear sword, the spear sword is awesome. This level, you're not allowed to destroy anything. Don't destroy anything. Get the key and get out. Don't blow anything up. That's allowed to happen. Um, there we go. Alright, let's put some health up, eh? Um, so now we can't see because all the lights are off. So if you don't get the light book, you're kind of screwed. We don't have a light book. Uh, now we need to make this dude... Come here. Come here. Walk into this. No, you come back here. There we go. And where's the other one? We need to make the other Black Knight get over here. Hey! Come on. Come on. And if you get too far away, he will not chase. Woo! We've solved our puzzle. Let's go. Uh, okay. This one we need to make all these things on the floor match. So we're gonna make them all green. Green's not really like a color that you have to do, but it's kind of the one I usually go with. All right, we have to kill a dragon now. We do not want to heck with the Onox or the Quacks or whatever. There we go. Fox is dead. And we get the Dragon Slayer. The Dragon Slayer specifically deals more damage to dragons. We're not going to fight a lot of dragons. This level, really all you need to do is just... Oh, not die. Is go get the key. Or we die. So the key will spawn the chest, and we can leave. Now we've got the black armor. The black armor is pretty cool. What the black armor does is, uh, you don't get chased by enemies when you've got the black armor on. And in this level, we have to turn the lights off. And wait, wait, wait. There it is. Anyway, the lights are on. We keep going. Where's my key? The enemies will not chase you when you're wearing the black knight, the black armor, because they think you're one of them. Anyway, this level's a very special floor to me. There's nothing on it. It's just death. Just death. Oh, I need to put the green thing on. Uh, where's the green necklace? Emerald, so now fire shouldn't hurt me. Where is the key? Nope, that's bad. Alright, this one, we're gonna go find the key first off. And now we're gonna wait right here for that to stop flashing. When it stops flashing, we're gonna step on it. There are mimics, yes. We got a ruby necklace, and now um, we're gonna make friends with the mimic. Thank you. Uh, those are the Moonwalker boots. They're terrible. We don't ever want those equipped. Got her. So now we need to walk a certain direction on these again. There we go. All right. Uh, now there's a, a very dumb silver chime creates a blanket of silence. So what you do is you equip the silver chime. Stop the music. No more music, friends. You just don't get it. Alright, and now we need to make the way for Ishtar to just walk by. Who is she? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Can we be friends? Anyway, bye. Um, anyway, let's go find our key. These things suck. These things are bad. And now we blow a bunch of things up. Who wants some explosions? Hands up in chat. There we go. 
I wanted to blow all these things up so we can get our keen leaf. Yeah, Ishtar is the one giving us hints. Uh, now we've got to murder a candle. We did it. We've murdered a candle, y'all. The candle's got nothing on us. Do I have a ruby necklace? Yes. I just want the key. I move too fast to actually dodge anything. All right. This level, we're just going to warp around. Ready? We did it. All right. So now I want to wear the green necklace and go stand in some fire. And where's my chest? All right, and now we need to go just walk across some triangles. One. Where is it? Two. There we go. All right, now this one just, um, turn the lights off. Just hit him. Hit him once. Boop. Ah! Uh, now we have to fight things. Uh, let me take something out of speed and put there. Cleanse this room! We're just gonna fight everything. I'm gonna put the spear sword on, because the spear sword's better than the other one, damage-wise. I'm gonna cleanse this room. Who wants to get cleansed? I have a sword. We did it. Oh, no, that was not the right chest. Okay, no, that was not it. That was a mistake. So we go back to floor 37. We go back to fight this room. I made a bad mistake. It drops both chests at once. And, um, you want the green rod. Without the green rod, you cannot beat the game. Now we just wait. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. The, the turbo graphics is really nice about soft resetting in this. Alright, so now we need to go look at the a specific candle. There's also a lot of mimics on this floor. There it is. There's also a basilisk. The basilisk is real weird. Let's go pet this lion. Where is he? Nah! Where is she? Lion. Alright, that's good. All right, now we need to moonwalk around and use our sword. So let's put the moonwalk boots on. Do it. There it goes. Sometimes doesn't quite work. Let's get our rocket boots on now. That was a pit. So when you pick up a treasure, you at least keep it. So you don't need to worry too much. Yeah, there's no hits, one treasure in that. It's real weird, pro. Uh, okay, so now we need to stab the eye. Where is it? Hello, eyeball. No, really, where? There you are. Thank you. These things are bad. Balance. So now we just, um... I'm gonna wait again. We're stuck here. We're stuck. We're stuck. We're going to reflect three spells. Come on. All right. We've successfully reflected three spells. Let's get out. 
got the hyper helmet. All right, so this we need to get the key. We need to walk. Oh god, by the door. Then the chest spawns, and we can get it. Uh, now this one's a fun one. Um, we just gotta die. And Ishtar's like, okay, cool. Here, have a crystal rod. Oh god, what I hit? Okay, this is fine. Alright, now that we've been released from this mortal coil, let's go release everything else. Well, no, let's spawn this dragon. Wait, wait, wait for the dragon, wait for the dragon, wait for the dragon. The dragon's gonna breathe fire and turn into treasure. Alright, guess who's back? Our old pal Lion. Lion now kills you if you touch him because he is corrupted. So we need to save the lion. We did it. We saved the lion. Alright, this level I've lovingly named Kingdom Hearts, which means you have to hold the sword out and pick up the key. And that spawns the chest. Ah! Where's the exit? There we go. Alright, another step on the things on the floor in the right order, and be cool about it. Whoop. We have so much wall destroying power. Now there's gonna be wisps. We need to get the wisps to touch this. Usually it'll just happen by virtue of the game uh, moving on its own. Like this one. Ah! Boop, there we go. Um, there are hints in every floor that are usually pretty good. But not always. Woo. Um, what do I have to do? All right. What was this? I think I need to kill the enemies. Why do I not remember what the trick to this floor was? Okay, I did that wrong. Alright, this is floor 52, so we're gonna do this. Because we need that item to beat the game. So, 52, why am I not remembering what the heck to do here? Wow, I do this whole thing. Floor 52. Oh, absorb a spell with your armor. Okay, that makes sense. My splits, dis my splits say hit me harder. So... Okay, I need the red wizard. There we go. That should do it. balance it's a balance there we go this one my hint that I've written in my splits is they don't love you like I love you which means use the map book Maps. I'm not gonna sing the hit song but this is night heck welcome everybody to night heck it's just a bunch of knights we're gonna kill them all I can't sing, so... Please appreciate it through me. This should be an onk. Alright. Um, this, this floor has nothing on it. You just go through it. This floor also has nothing on it. All right, this one I need to prep something real quick. This is the heydays of the Turbo Graphics. Where is she? Where is she? This is our succubus friend. She's gonna ask us a few questions. 
We're gonna answer yes. No. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Alright, that was that. Now we've completed that floor. Alright, now I have to take off all of my clothes and pick up the key. As soon as I find the key, I'll be doing that. Also, if you answer her incorrectly, she doesn't give you anything, and the item that she gives you, you need to beat the game. Also, if you're not holding your sword out when you- oh, I just picked up the key like a dingus. If you're not holding the sword out when you get to her and hit her with the sword, she just kills you. Because it's a succubus, y'all. Alright, let's get everything off. And that spawns the chest. Put it all back on. Alright. This is the final floor with enemies on it. There's only one free real wizard when we hit it. So Draga should be somewhere now. Oh, I know we have to kill this thing. <laughs> Draga's here? Hello, Draga. Draga's dead. <laughs> My body is breaking up! Anyway, bye, Draga. And now here's the last floor of the game. We've got everything we need. Two. And let's go find Princess Key. She knew we'd come. Shout out to Quest to Key for the NES. That game's awesome too. That's it. That's time. I don't remember if that's a world record or not. My my best time is 21 minutes and change, but it's unrecorded. So that one. Um, let's see. Let's see if that is um, a world record today. No, definitely not. That's about 40, 40 minutes, 40 seconds slow. Anyway, that was Tower of Draga. I hope you all really, really enjoyed that because I absolutely love this version of this game. It's so cool. It is so much more fun to play, just even casually, because they will give you hints at the puzzles and they're pretty fun to try to figure it out. The Tower of Draga World Record Command is going to give you the arcade version, which doesn't have any runs. And the NES ones, there's only one actual run of the game, and the other ones are like, get 50,000 points, which takes like two seconds, and it's not like, eh, let me scoff at that speedrun. This version does have bad treasures. Um, if we pick up balances and everything, we keep away from the bad treasures. Anyway, that was Tower of Draga. Also, I want to shout out my buddy who translated this ROM, because this never came out in America. And he translated this entire game himself. And, well, he's got a friend that actually translated some uh, text, but he programmed all the English into it and everything, and gave me the opportunity to play this video game. Uh, thank you so much, RGL, for, um, for getting me there and, like, you know, making me play video games. There's no bad endings. You just, uh, you get to drug and you get sent back uh, way earlier in the game. But, yeah, that's Drog on PC Engine. This game is awesome more people should play it. it moves so fast and my category i've built of all main treasures and not just any any percent is real good but thanks and i will catch you all very soon drop me a follow drop rgl follow you're probably drawing freaking you're probably following rgl but hopefully um you know more video games are coming soon so please i think aquas is up with grand Zort, which is awesome so watch grand Zort and more turbo graphic stuff and thank you again bye